Good day, engineers. So, para sa video natin na to, ang i-discuss natin is yung mga diagrams naman for the active condition of a cohesive soil. So, as you can see, dito sa figure na to, meron tayong given na soil which has a unit weight gamma, an angle of internal friction phi, at yung cohesion na C. And it has a height H. So, it is supported by the retaining wall AB. So, ngayon, uh, our goal is to get the lateral earth force for the active condition. So, for our active condition, uh, by the way, since involved situation, there are two stages for our active condition. So, nandyan yung before tensile crack and the after tensile crack. Mamaya makikita nyo bakit meron tayong before tensile crack at meron tayong after tensile crack. Ngayon, dumakaw muna tayo dun sa stress diagrams nya. So, as you can see here, we have a triangular stress diagram. This is for our... Uh, lateral earth pressure for the soil itself. So, ibig sabihin, kasi kanina, or dun sa previous videos natin, na-derive natin yung equation for the lateral earth pressure at rest. Sabi natin, or sabi dun sa equation na yun, the sigma prime of A is equal to sigma prime of B Ka minus 2C square root ng Ka. Yan yung na-drive nating equation. So, ibig sabihin, the first pressure diagrams or the first pressure diagram will correspond to sigma prime Vka which is the diagram for the soil and the second diagram will correspond to the cohesion of the soil. So, ngayon, from this one, makikita natin yung diagram 1. Yan ngayon yung for the lateral earth pressure ng ating soil mismo. So, lagay natin dito for diagram 1. So, syempre, nandun yung pressure 1 which will be equivalent to a value the sigma prime v times ka so syempre uh, wala naman tayong involved na tubig so ibig sabihin we can use the gamma for this one so that is gamma times the height times ka now for diagram number 2 so para sa cohesion naman Yung diagram number 2. So, ang diagram number 2 natin is just a rectangle. So, this is just the same as the diagram for a overburden or for an overburden pressure. So, as you can see, rectangular lang siya and we will have a value of pressure P sub 2 equivalent now to a value 2C square root of Ka. So, para mamaya, hindi na natin uh, kunin or hanapin yung negative sign, isama na natin siya dito. So, that is P2 is equal to negative 2C square root of Ka. So, wag masyadong malito dun sa ginawa ko. Uh, dito, nag-positive lang ako kaya meron akong minus sign dito. So, ngayon, ipinasa ko na yung minus sign sa kanya para mamaya plus na lang yung gagamitin natin. So, now we can get the force F sub 1 is equal to, syempre, that is the pressure, uh, the area of the pressure diagram, which is this one. So, that will be 1 half P sub 1 times H. So, that will be 1 half times gamma h ka times h 
So that will be equivalent now to 1 half gamma h squared ka. Then for our f sub 2. So yung f sub 2 natin will just be equivalent to 1 half. Or since rectangle yun, so that is just p sub 2 times h. So that will be negative 2c square root of ka times h. So yun ngayon yung force 1 at force 2 natin. So we could get an active earth force for this one which is so kunin natin yung diagram sa baba eto na magko-correspond diyan so nakita nyo F1 minus F2 to so since ipinasok na natin yung negative sign doon so our F sub A for this one will just be equivalent to uh, F1 plus our F sub 2 yun ngayon yung active earth force. Pero papangalanan natin to na active earth force before tensile crack occurs. So bakit ngayon meron tayong two stages na before and after tensile crack? So malalaman natin yun or better na may papaliwanag ko siya kung ang gagamitin nating method is yung resulting diagram. So, sa resulting diagram is ganito. So, as you can see, add natin yung nasa top. So, 0 plus negative 2c squared ng ka. Kasi that is minus. So, that will be a value negative 2c squared ng ka. Then, yung nasa baba will be gamma h ka minus 2c squared of ka. So, Ito yung resulting diagram na niya, gamma hka minus 2c square root ng ka. And as you can see, buo yung diagram niya dito, kaya siya tinawag na before tensile crack. Kasi as you can see, merong pressure na nagko-correspond or merong pressure na negative sign. And for a soil, a negative sign na pressure is a value of attention. So, ibig sabihin, etong soil na nasa ibabaw, since ang sign niya lahat is on the negative side, ibig sabihin, yung soil na yan, or yung part ng soil na yan is under tension. So, before tensile crack occurs, eto yung force niya. So, meron pa siyang tension na isinama dun sa force natin. So, Paano natin malalaman ngayon yung pressure niyan gamit tong resulting diagram? Meron tayong tinatawag na height which is Z sub O. So, ang ibig sabihin ng Z sub O, yung Z sub O natin dyan na nilagay ko, yan yung depth. of tensile crack So ngayon hanggang dyan sa depth na yan meron tayong tension So paano natin kukunin yung depth of tensile crack na yan Yung depth of tensile crack natin na yan is makukuha natin through similar triangles as you can see, yung diagram natin linear and it corresponds to two triangles. So ngayon, pwede tayong gumamit ng similar triangles denoting na yung height ng triangle sa baba is a value h minus c sub o. So ngayon, proceed tayo in getting the similar triangles para mapalabas natin si c sub o. So, syempre, we get the absolute value of 2c square root of ka dito. Huwag natin kunin yung negative sign. So, that is 2c square root of ka divided by c sub o is equal to a value that is gamma h ka minus 2c 
square root of k a times uh, divided by h minus z o. So, ito ay punta natin doon or i-cross multiply natin silang dalawa. So, ito mapupunta doon, ito mapupunta dito. So, that will be 2c square root ng k a uh, times h minus 2c square root ng k a z o is equal to gamma h k a minus uh, minus 2c square root ng k a times c sub o tapos pwede natin ngayong ilipat si c sub o dun sa kabila so that will be 2c square root ng k a that is equal to so pwede din natin i-factor out yung z o nun so z o times gamma h k a minus 2c square root ng k a so syempre ito yung nilipat natin dun magiging positive yan so that is positive 2c square root ng k a so as you can see magka-cancel out yung dalawang 2c square root ng k a so nakalimutan natin yung h dito so now we can have or we can divide both sides by gamma h k a so we can have z o is equal to 2c square root ng k a h is equal to gamma h k a as you can see pwede natin cancel to so our z o will correspond to 2c square root ng k a over gamma k a so kapag ang so uh, condition ng soil is a single soil lang tapos meron siyang cohesion pwede natin gamitin yung formula na to pero kung ang condition is may mga water pa merong mga overburden pressure so hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung formula na to na na-derive natin coming from this diagram so ganun lang natin kukunin yung Z sub O similar triangles so As you can see, madali lang siya kung merong mga values yung 2C square root ng KA at yung pressure na nandun sa ilalim. So, ganun natin kunin yung depth of our tensile crack. Ngayon dito din sa diagram na to, meron pa tayong tinatawag na critical depth. Ano yung critical depth? Uh, ang critical depth lang is sabi dun sa um, sabi dun sa definition ng critical depth, siya yung uh, depth na kung saan merong positive na, may equivalent na positive pressure tong 2C square root ng KA. Ibig sabihin, merong part dun sa positive side or dun sa compression side na magko-correspond na positive 2C square root ng KA at yun yung critical depth. And yung critical depth na yun has a value So that is HC is equal to 2 times the value C sub O. So yan ngayon yung critical depth natin. That is just twi uh, twice of the depth of tensile crack. So yun yung isa pang uh, pinakamahalagang component dito sa diagram ng before tensile crack. Now since nakita na natin yung depth of tensile crack, pwede na natin ngayon i-determine yung force after the tensile crack using this resulting diagram. So, syempre, makukuha natin yan by getting the area of the two triangles. So, before tensile crack, so, lagay natin dito, before tensile crack, of course, using resulting diagram So syempre 
using resulting diagram, we could have, so that is negative 2c square root ng ka. So, ang force natin doon na active will just be equivalent to that is 1 half times negative 2c square root of ka times the depth of tensile crack z sub o. Then, yung isang triangle plus 1 half of gamma h ka minus 2c square root of ka times the height minus c sub o. So, ito ngayon yung active earth force gamit yung resulting diagram na to. And I'll assure to you that itong equation na to from this one will yield the same, uh, the same answer as this one. So, silang dalawa yung magkaparehas. So, that will be the concept for uh, the active earth force for uh, before our tensile crack occurs. Ngayon, paano naman yung after? Sa after, ang mangyayari lang is matatanggal yung soil na may tension. So, etong may negative 2c squared ng ka na yan is i-disregard natin. So, as you can see dito sa diagram na to, tinanggal na natin siya. So, yun lang yung mangyayari after tensile crack. So, to explain further, that will just be after tensile crack occurs. Bibigyan ka niya ng active force na equivalent to. So, just the area of that resulting or of this resulting diagram na nileg nile neglect natin yung soil under tension. So, that will just be 1 half gawin nating black. So, that will just be 1 half gamma h ka minus 2c square root of ka times h minus c sub o. So, ito lang yung force after tensile crack kasi the rest, uh, yung merong depth of tensile crack na C sub O is ineneglect na natin since that is under tension. So, that will be all for the concepts for the, di uh, for the cohesive soil under the active condition of the lateral earth pressure. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.